Hello! So this is a new... Uh, series. I voted around Circle of Friends to, uh, for what I should do next, and overwhelming majority was Dark Souls. This is the original version of Dark Souls, well, the Prepare to Die edition of Dark Souls, not, uh, not remastered because I don't own the remastered version. It would probably have been the remastered version if I owned it, but I don't. I'm gonna be a knight because they're uh, easy. <laughs> and master key because it makes everything easier and there's like no point in um, getting anything else. Well, this, we don't we don't need. To... Oh right, yeah, this was uh. You couldn't the the face was uh, very easy to mi break in this game. I want bad hair. Okay, oh, that one's pretty bad. Nah, we can do better. It's not that different. That's not that different. Create similar face. The trick is just keep pressing it. <laughs> yep, that's good. So, and also these sliders are usually pretty broken. They don't seem to be as broken in this game than they do in other games though. And by other games I mean 2 and 3. And I think... Uh, Bloodborne as well actually. Hair color, oh yes. Mess with this as much as possible. There we go. Now we have a character. Her name shall be... Oh. It didn't work. Grogus. There we go. Yes. Grogus. Here we are, in Dark Soul. In the age I'm gonna of skip the intro because everyone knows it, and if you don't, look it up, because I've seen it a million times. And I've never even beaten this game. I've beaten Dark Souls 3 lots of times, and I've beaten Bloodborne once, but I've never beaten this game, because as much as I really like it, I just prefer the other games. And at this point, we, our stats aren't even good enough to wear base armor, so I'm going to remove the helmet and now I can actually roll like I... Now I can roll in a not... What is it called? Fat rolling. Now I won't fat roll. I, w I tried to do a, a playthrough of this game using only the broken sword, but uh didn't work very well in this game. I tried doing it in three? Yeah, three as well. It's way easier to do in three. Uh, because in this game, the broken sword was just ridiculously terrible. It's still pretty terrible in every other game, but it got, I guess, slightly buffed. So you could feasibly go through the whole game with it. But it, it was just so painful to do in... In this game, it was just so painful to do that I couldn't even, like, get out of the Undead Asylum. It was that bad. So if you've never played this game before, this is... This is the Undead Asylum. This is where the... The Undead are shipped to because of the, uh... Gwyn, the ruler, is, a uh, Well, he, he's the old ruler now, but he was, um... He was... There's a thing called the Undead Curse, and Gwyn was pretty scared of it, so he shipped off all the un undeads into the Undead Asylum, and locked them up, and had this monster who's going to appear uh, guard it all, so no undead could ever escape. But it was foretold in the uh, in the prophecy that one undead would escape, and well, lots of undead. 
Well, it's meant to be you, but tons of undead escape, so I don't know, the prospect is just wrong, I guess. So that was the undead aside. The undead... What's he called? He's not undead. The Asylum Beast. Something. I don't remember. And he's, uh... He's the first boss of the game, but you can't fight him right now. Because... He just, it doesn't work. Uh, yeah, I can do that without fat rolling. I'm not a, I'm not really a fan of using shields in Dark Souls, but probably a good idea this early in the game, especially in this game. A lot of people like to say Dark Souls 2 is the hardest. I disagree. I think this one is the hardest. Dark Souls 2 starts out pretty easy. This one starts out really hard. Yeah, see, this is what I mean with the uh, broken sword. Just really, really good damage. Uh, I didn't even pay any notice of what I just picked up. Yeah, I just picked up a broadsword. Why am I not using that? I, I'm used to this intro so much that uh, I thought I knew what I was going to pick up and thus just didn't acknowledge it and thought it was going to be something dumb, but... It was actually important! Right, if you saw the guy in the next room, he's, he's, uh, I don't remember his name, but he gets us the, uh, the Estus Flask, which is a very important item, and is the main source of healing outside of bonfires. So here he is, something of a store, I don't remember his name. Oh, you. Thank Whatever, you. everyone knows this. I'll die. I wish... I mean, I can kill him, but that's not fun. Yep. Okay. Undead flask. Unde undead flask. Estus flask. Very good item. Very key. And Dark Souls 2 undermined its existence and basically said, no, let's just use the, uh, let's just have the, um, life stones. Let's have it so... Est the game punishes you for using Estus, while you are rewarded for using Life Stones. And I don't. Well, I don't think that's as bad as some people think. It's pretty bad because the uh, the Estus. There's a reason why it only gives you like five at the beginning and maxes out at like twenty. There's a reason for that. While uh, life stones, you can get 99, like, right at the beginning of the game, and there's, like, no consequence for it, and if anything, you're rewarded for it. I like Dark Souls 2 quite a lot, but there's a lot of problems like that in it that make it a little bit less enjoyable. It's my least favorite Souls game, but I've never played Demon Souls, so, I don't know, maybe that's worse. This, this, also, this game also feels pretty clunky at times, but it still feels really good to control. But I haven't played Remastered, so maybe that plays really differently. I th I'm kind of just waiting for the... I'm kind of just waiting for the Switch version, which I'm, I'm aware will not be very good at all. But... Uh, I'm, I mean, it's just Dark Souls portable. Even if it runs terribly, I'll still play it. Alright, so... Now we're gonna have the first boss of the game, the, As the Asylum Demon, that's what he's called. And what you're meant to do is, come down, I missed, but you're meant to, uh, you're meant to plunge down, I forget what the, the attack, what doing that is called, but you're supposed to just jump on his head, and it does tons of damage, but I missed it, so there's kind of like no point in going on, probably a better idea to just die and start, repeat it. It makes the fight a whole lot easier. So, you can see we're taking heavy... Okay, never mind, I was going to demonstrate the Estus Flask, but I died. The Estus Flask is at its easiest to use in... Dark Souls 3. Which uh, is good. Because uh, Dark Souls 3... The way Dark Souls 3 flows... If it was as slow as it is in this game, it would that game would suffer a lot because Dark Souls 3 controls a whole lot differently to 1 and 2. Uh, so if it was as slow as it is there, 
it wouldn't work because Dark Souls 3 is based around being fast, kind of, not, not, uh, not really fast, but pretty, pr pretty decently fast. <laughs> this explanation makes no sense. But basically, my point is, Dark Souls 3 plays differently, and so they change the way Estus Blast works. So I'd, basic thing in Dark Souls, backstab, does more damage, pretty much everyone knows that. I don't know why I'm explaining everything if I'm also saying everyone knows everything. So if you stall here, he, uh... Oh, yeah, he does that, but I already jumped down, so it didn't matter. Ah. Oh. I don't know why- oh, I'm fat rolling, I must have done something without knowing. I'll just get rid of the shield for now. Alright, yeah. I can't handle fat rolling. Okay, I'll, I'll demonstrate the Estus Flask. I haven't played Dark Souls in a while, by the way, so if I'm really bad... Uh, that's why. Also, combined with that, I never- I was never very good at this game, and I was- The only one I was good at- The only ones I'm good at are two- Actually, rather, I'm good at- Dark Souls 2, 3, and Bloodborne, but not at this one. So I guess I'm good at every Souls game except this, and I never played Demon Souls, so I don't know about that one. Never played Demon Souls because I didn't, I never had an, uh, never had a PS3, I was about to say Xbox. Never had a PS3, but I would like to play it. And uh, I didn't know this, but um, Demon Souls, be before Persona 5 came out, Demon Souls was actually Atlas's biggest, highest selling game of all time. Which is kind of strange since Atlas didn't make it. They only published it. Which, I mean, they publish games a lot. Well, they don't do it as much anymore, but they used to. And uh, usually they don't actually, the games they publish but not develop aren't, don't actually sell that well. But. Demon's Souls was the exception, I guess. It was probably just from people saying, IT'S THE HARDEST GAME EVER MADE! Which is the only reason Dark Souls sold anything, unfortunately, because there's so much more to it than that. So there's the Asylum Demon dead. Uh, so if you're a good player, you'll go back and at the bonfire. Really, you wouldn't have to do that, but it's just an easier way to get back souls get back health, I mean, and Estus, so why not? Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, hollowing is a system in this, and so because of that, your character can uh, look real bad a lot of the time if you don't reverse hollowing, so I'm trying to get into a good light. So I made my character look awful on purpose, but when you've got, when you're hollow, you look even worse. So that's not a very good position, because there's no light in here, but that's basically how it works. Very good. Very good game. Life was good on hot dog stand.